In this video we're going to look at Haiku. Haiku is an operating system based on BOS which was a multimedia operating system. For the time it was really advanced in my opinion. We're going to look at the installer and then we're going to explore the desktop and look at the features that it has to offer. Please enjoy the video. Installing Haiku is simple, you click Installer, then you can read that information if you need to, it tells you how to add it to Grub, continue, it's going to tell you that no partitions are found unless you've already got something installed obviously, click Setup Partitions, click the top one, click Partition, click Initialize and click Intel Partition Map, click Continue, click Write Changes, click OK, then click here where it says empty, click partition, click create, just set it to whatever you need it to be, click create again, click write changes again, click that and then click the partition again, click initialize and click B file system, then click continue, you can call it whatever you want, I'll just leave the defaults, click initialize and then write changes again, ok, close it choose the Haiku target that we just created, click begin and it will install. Now this usually takes about five minutes, this is on VirtualBox, if you're installing from a CD it may take a little while longer, but you let it install and I'll come back to it when it's done. When it has finished installing it doesn't show you a message saying installation complete, it will just take you back to this menu. Now if you have Grub and a Linux partition already, add it to Grub using the instructions that it has given you. If not, you can boot the Haiku CD and choose the Haiku partition through that by pressing the spacebar as the CD is loading. I'm going to show you how to use the Super Grub disk to boot it. Go to Choose Language and No Help, choose your language. Go to Boot and Tools, go to Boot Partition, Boot Partition, choose the Haiku partition, click it again and it will boot Haiku for you. Haiku gives you a rather clean desktop, you've only got these here bbook which doesn't do anything, oh it's loading it caused an error so we've lost our desk bar alright this is just giving you information about Haiku I can't minimize anything because there's no desk bar so I'll just put that down there now the menu system is is really annoying. To find your applications you right click and then you look through it and find them like this. Now this is okay but it's not very tidy. It's, it doesn't have any sort of polish to it does it? Look at this how many levels there are there and there's only one thing in there so all these levels for nothing. Preferences is empty. Here's our system stuff applications about system information about it there desktop oh and don't click because it closes it there's a there's a lot of applications there installer oh that's just to install the system again B PDF, B files in the browser. It's giving it subdirectories for one application like this, which is quite messy. This does have the potential to be a good OS, but at the moment it really needs some polish. Browser system there. Your home folder. So all applications are in system apps. I haven't got a webcam connected. Calculator. That works. There's a lot of navigation you have to do to get to your applications though. Mail. CD player. 
There's a lot of applications. Media player. What media player is it? Never seen that one before. Disk usage. Preferences has got nothing, which is weird. But there's preferences again, which has got stuff. Okay. <laughs> Appearance. Can we change much? Or we can just change the text, fonts, and things. Panel backgrounds. Nothing out of the ordinary there. Nice breakdown of the space being used. It's not a bad system, but this navigation is is ridiculous. Obviously, it would have been fine in the day, but now it's no good, is it, really? Going through all this just to find your applications. Oh, yeah, don't click, as I've said. A lot of these have got nothing in them. There's a lot of empty folders. Surely they shouldn't just, they shouldn't show. Oh, we've got our desk bar back up. I don't know why it crashed. It might be something to do with VirtualBox. But yeah, it's really difficult to navigate around the system using this menu. Oh, there's that with all that navigation again. There's really not much I can say about it. Because it, it's, it's such an early build. There's not that much with it. I guess we could just open all the applications and see what they're like. Activity monitor. It's quite light on resources. Considering we've got stuff open. Now that navigation has got to go. It is. It, look at it. It is not something that you're going to get used to easily. See? Media Converter, I haven't got any files to stick in there. Now BOS would have been good, considering the time frame, but now it, this is no good. This, this navigation, the system seems very stable, and it's quite light on resources, but the main desktop is, is lousy, to be honest. What's these demos? A clock. Not going to go through all the programs. Do we have networking on VirtualBox? No, we don't. There's probably a way to fix that, but I'm not focusing on browsing the web in Haiku in this video. And I won't put that down to Haiku because, as I say, it might be a VirtualBox thing. There's apps that. There's all of that. Apps. Stuff so spaced out on here. Apps there, and demos there. Playground. Ooh. Okay. Oh, right. Interesting. But at the moment, this system hasn't really got much going for it, apart from the resource usage. I can't think of too many instances where I'd want to use this system yet. And it's only an alpha, so I'll revisit this at a later stage when they've done more changes and things to it. Apart from that, there's really nothing else I can say about this system apart from the navigation is horrible. And I'm not impressed. I'm impressed by the resource usage and it's definitely nice to use a different system, but... The way everything's spaced out like this and the way the navigation is makes it difficult to launch applications so at the moment I'm not a big fan of Haiku but we'll revisit it later anyway I hope you enjoyed the video thanks for watching please comment rate and subscribe